Hi there, happy Wednesday. Uh, I think it's the 22nd of May. I'm not sure about that, so don't quote me. <sighs> I wasn't going to make a video today because I haven't actually got any crocheting to show you. Let me put my little gadget there. But I had a message the other day from one of my YouTube friends called Dawn and she's, I think she's a YouTube follower as well did I want a little bit of yarn? well <laughs> you know what can I say? do I ever want a bit of yarn? yes! doesn't matter how much you have if somebody says do you want some yarn? your first instinct is to say yes please, yes please, yes please anyway her lovely husband has just brought it and I haven't opened it, uh, so I'd open it with you, yeah. So, there's one bag, and in it is, oh wow, Serdar Indy, what gorgeous colour that is, beautiful. Go the wrong way again as usual. Um, The wood pigeon has started woohooing. <laughs> My little bird isn't actually singing at the moment, so I don't know where he's gone. Anyway, isn't it gorgeous colours? Oh, I'm so happy with that. There's quite a few of them actually. Let me see. Oh, let me see, see, see. Sorry, you see the top of my head. Uh, Oh, that noise, by the way, is Poppy, who is, I thought she was going to hit the Cambly tripod, followed closely by Gigi. And yes, that's all the same colour. One, two, three, four, five, and there may be more, let me see, five, six. Yeah, there's more than six. <laughs> six, seven, six, seven, eight. Oh, I'm going to make something really nice with this. Can't wait to start it now, even though it's not winter. Eight, what did they get to? Nine, ten. They are uh, 50 grams, I think. Yeah, 50 gram balls, and they're 61% wool. And 49% acrylic. And they're Serda and they're made in Turkey under license for Serda. Ooh, 10 I've got so far. Oh, there's even more. 11, 12. Oh gosh, there's lots, lots more. I can make a cardigan even for me, big size. I can make a cardigan. Thank you very much, Dor. There's also another colour in there, which is 0157, also in the Indie. Isn't that gorgeous? I love limes and pinks. There's a few of those, quite a few of those as well. One, two, three. Oh, four, five. Yet yeah, there's five of those, but I can do another colour with that. so excited. When you order your own yarn, you know what's coming, don't you? But when you get a gift, it's like, oh, this is so exciting. This is so different. Yeah, so I'll put those there. And there is also uh, one, two, three, four. There's quite a lot of the orangey colour in there. Quite a lot. Plenty even for that so in me. <laughs> yeah. There is one of those which is make a nice hat that. That one's uh, 0169. Again it's in the indie. I think there's just one of those. That'd be lovely for a hat, wouldn't it? Keep going the wrong way. Lovely for a hat. Yeah, oh there's two, two four, six, eight, ten. 
and I don't know how many is on here now. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. There's 20. Oh, there's 20 of that colour. <laughs> so excited, so excited. I keep going the wrong way. So excited. And there is also four of these, which is the Serdar Connemara Tweed Effect Chunky. That looks like a super chunky, by the way, the, um, the Indy. I think it says it's uh, a riot of colours in every ball. I don't know whether it gives you a... Oh yeah, it does, I beg your pardon. It does give you a needle size. Um, 12 millimeter hooks or needles, so it's a super chunky, isn't it? It's lovely, though. Lovely. Right, this one is a chunky. This is Serda Connemara. This is wool and acrylic. 50%. No, it can't be 50%. 51% wool, 49% acrylic. And this again is made in Turkey. And there's four, four of those. That gorgeous, lovely tweedy colours. Right, let's put those back in the bag. I'm so excited, can't you tell? Right, let's look what's in the end of this box here. Bag, I should say. It's like lucky dip, isn't it? It's like when you win a prize and you have to put your hands in the brand tub to buy something. That smart super wash. Sandine's Garn. I've not heard of this one actually. There's one ball of it anyway, it's colour 4316 and it's 100% wool. Oh, it's all written in foreign, so I don't know what it says actually or where it's made. But it's a super wash anyway, so I'll keep going the wrong way. Will you keep yelling to me? Other way, other way. And I've got um, an unknown, unless there's a label in the back. Oh yes, there's a label. I've got a... Oh again, it's the Smart Superwash. This colour is... Uh, 5021. And that's a lovely dusty pink. I presume it's double knitted. It doesn't exactly say, but I'm sure it's a double knitted. Oh! And I've also got. Oh, Wendy Mistral, I've used this one. It's. Um, I made a blue one, like a denim blue in this. It's lovely. There's five balls of this, which is. Oh, my bag's blowing away and it's frightening, Gigi. Uh, 50 grams and it's Wendy Mistral Chunky. And the colour of this one is, let me see, 792. And 6.5 and millimetre needles. Oh, it's 20% wool, 60% acrylic and 30 something percent polyester. But it's lovely, isn't it? Or shades of maroon. And there's five of those. So exciting! And what caught my eye was this one here, which is uh, Hayfield Spirit. I've not used this one. Double knitted, it's 100 grams, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Look at that, look at the colours on that. Oh, excuse me, look at the colours on that. Gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> if I make a shawl with that, I could introduce, you know, some of the other colours in. Like the oranges or the purples or something. And 
The one that was on the top of the bag that caught my eye as he brought it in was, of course, this yarn. Let me see what this one is. Baby Fuchsia. Um, orange, yellow. They don't go for fancy names at ice, do they? <laughs> I haven't ordered from ice for a while, actually. Well, I say a while. It isn't a while, is it? Because I ordered that cotton. Look at that, old ladies and gentlemen. It's 400 grams, and this one goes absolutely miles and miles. It's called Dancing Baby Yarn. I have had the Dancing Baby, but not in this colour. It works up lovely. It works up really nicely. Um, needle size. Oh no, no, it says three millimetres, it's no way, it's a double knit this. No, I would use a, definitely use a much bigger hook, uh, hook on this one. Isn't that glorious? It's like a parrot, isn't it? It's glorious. So thank you very much, Don, if you're watching. You've made an old bird very happy. It doesn't take much these days to make me very happy, but it's made me very happy. I'm finishing off something, but I'm, I'm wanting to start something new and I'm supposed to start with something else next, but I'm so tempted. Are you like that when you get new yarn? Uh, you want to do it all the time, yeah? Well, I must apologise to those who don't think that my sound's any better. 95% um, of people are saying, yeah, your sound's an awful lot better. But one person said I was mumbling, but that might be me. Maybe I do mumble. And then another person said she couldn't hear me, so... I don't know. I rest my case. I can't do any more. And I'm not going to yell at the top of my lungs. <laughs> because two people can't hear me very well. So sorry about that. If I upset you, I'm very sorry. But I only talk quietly anyway. And I'm not... I'm out on the deck here. I've got neighbours both sides. I'm not going to start yelling at the top of my lungs. Um, it didn't sound low when I played it back to myself. And like I said, the majority of people said it sounds fine, you know. So we'll see how we go on. So I do apologise to those who can't hear me and those who think I'm mumbling. Maybe I do mumble, I don't know. You don't really listen to yourself talking, do you? <laughs> And here's Gigi, fresh from his visit to the vets this morning. Poor little sausage, I think he's got a heart murmur. So we had to have some blood taken. And he smells very antiseptic. <laughs> when I picked him up today. We won't know the results for a week or so, so we'll have to see what happens next. As for me, I'm going to the physio tomorrow which I'm looking forward to because he did a wonderful job on my neck last time. It's not 100%, it's still pulling, but he did make a big difference to it. And the funny dull hangover headache has gone, so I'm glad about that. So I'm going to see him tomorrow morning, and um, then I've got the dentist, my sadist dentist on Friday morning. So... If I'm talking a bit weird when I do the live on a Saturday, that would be why. She is a demon with that product. Oh, I've never known anybody like her. I am not a wimp. My goodness me. She touches every nerve that goes right into your head. It's like... <laughs> and I've never been scared of a dentist. I've always gone along. You know, so it's not that. Hello, sweetheart. What do you want? Hmm? Do you want to pick you up? No. No, he doesn't want to pick you up. Well, Poppy is sitting there with a ball, waiting patiently for me to throw it. But it's a tennis ball with green fluff on it, and she's already knackered half the fluff on it. She's already ripped it to bits, haven't you? But the other dog, the late, my son's late dog, Sky, she was, oh, she was a terror with a tennis ball. She used to rip it and rip it and rip it until she was finished up with two halves of a ball. 
And then even then she don't want me to throw it. Well, Poppy's wagging her tail, aren't you, darling? Well, come and say hello to everyone. Come and say hello. I don't think people can see you, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Oh, now we've got little jealous pants here now. If I stroke Poppy then, then we can see a little face or not. Let me just tip the camera a little bit. Come on, Popsy, where are you? Ooh. Where are you, Pops? Oh, where's she gone? Where are you, Poppy? Oh, she's gone over there. She's wandered off. Can't get her in shot. She's wandered away. Gigi, come here. Gigi, come here. Let everybody see you. Instead, come here. Oh! There he is. Here's little G. If you can see him. He is jealous when I pat Poppy. We get on really, really well together. There's no animosity, you know, but he just likes me all to myself. He doesn't like to have to share me with Poppy. But Poppy's such a good girl, she doesn't mind sharing at all. <laughs> yeah, they've got lots of friends that have lots of little dogs and that, so she's quite used to sharing. She's not the jealous kind at all. <laughs> but this little monkey, he's as jealous as sin, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little haul. <laughs> It was a surprise to me as it was to you. I love when I get surprises. When you order your own yarn, you don't get many surprises, do you? You know, because you know what you've ordered. I mean, it's exciting when the stuff arrives, but you know what you've ordered, don't you? So, I've got no orders coming uh, from anywhere um, at the moment, because as you know, I've got quite a lot of organic cotton. I've got two crochet up. Oh. Um, I've been doing little cardigans with, um, you know, like boleros and things, shorty ones. So I'm going to, once I finish this green bolero that I was crocheting the other day, I've got two sleeves yet left to do and the border around. Um, I'm going to do a couple of tops, you know, just like summer tops. And um, maybe do those a little bit larger. Because I concentrated on doing the small sized ones and... Uh, I'll do some, when I say large size, I don't mean huge, I mean just, I don't mean me sized. I'm just going to do some that's a little bit more um, average lady size. <laughs> yeah, I keep getting asked over and over, make bigger things, make bigger things. And then when I do make them, they don't sell as well. Um, so sadly, yeah, I'm not, because they take more yarn, take more time. Yeah, as I mentioned before, there is quite a price hike with these um, organic cotton ones, but that's because the cost of the organic cotton um, is a lot dearer. Um, I mean, I have to factor into the fact that I did get a few colours on sale, but that is not the true price. So when I want to buy more of it, I'm going to have to buy the two, true price. So I can't just price what paid, you know, for one lot and then suddenly say, oh, well, if you, you know, if I make another one, it's going to be twice the price because I'm paying twice the price for the cotton. So, I've, I've made my mind up about a price and I'm going to stick to it. If they don't sell, they don't sell and that's what is, isn't it? But so I've got to learn to um, be more confident about my work and put a value on things that is more in keeping with the hours that I spent making things. Um, yes, I'm retired, but that's no reason for me to sit and crochet with nothing for my time, you know. Um, I don't charge what other people charge. You know, some people are saying $10 for an hour. Oh, I don't crochet that fast. If I did $10 an hour, you know, you'd have to have add a hundred dollars onto the, anything, you know, before you put the price of the yarn on it. Because I don't crochet that fast these days. Yeah, my wrist is hurting. <laughs> my wrist is hurting already and I've only done, what, half of a front of um, a bolero, yeah. Still, it gives me great pleasure. 
and I got a lot of pleasure from this lovely yarn from Dawn. Thank you, Dawn. So happy. <laughs> so happy, happy, happy. <laughs> but I've been trying to tidy up and I haven't been doing very well. I really want to go into the garage, uh, which I can't do when I've got both the dogs. Because they would both be off like a rocket. Um, I need to open the front doors of the garage so I can actually see uh, properly what's in there. Because it doesn't have a window. It's alright, I'm not... <laughs> the dog hair's got up my nose. It doesn't have a window so I have to open both the doors so I can actually see what I'm doing in there. But I need to sort out and have a really good sort out. Um, what I would like to do is... Um, rewind on my wool winder, you know, all the bits and the scrappy bits and the whatnot bits, so that they'll fit better into the containers. And then I can sort of whittle down the number of containers that are in there, which leaves me room to put other things in there. And, and I definitely need to sort out my, my buttons. My buttons are all over the place. When I want a button now, I'm like looking through boxes upon boxes upon, you know. So I need to organise them at least into categories, you know. So when I know I've got a button of a certain colour, I know where to start looking for it. Oh, I'm going to be so busy this summer, aren't I? But when it's nice day like this, all I want to do is sit outside in the sunshine. Yeah. My daughter-in-law came and brought Poppy. She was sat outside on the deck here. It's such a lovely place to sit, yeah. I'm so lucky. So lucky that I got it built for me. One of my son's friends built it for me for a fraction of the price, really, that a tradesman would have cost me, you know. So I'm very, very lucky that my son's got such good biker friends, yeah. Um, people sort of think, oh, bikers, ooh, ooh, bikers. Do you know, they are a fabulous lot of people, absolutely fabulous. They're always there for you if there's any kind of troubles or whatever. They support each other, they're wonderful people. Um, but they have such a bad reputation and I don't know why. Maybe because they look a bit scary, you know, when they're all in their black leathers and they're roaring down the road. Maybe they look a bit scary. But they're nothing like the TV programmes make them out to be. There might be certain chapters of whatever, somewhere in the country where, but I've not heard of anything for years, you know, where they've been involved in anything. You know, they're the opposite, they do. You know, they support any child who's been bullied and they deliver Easter eggs, Christmas presents, they do the Santa Claus wrong. Oh, that was Poppy, by the way. <laughs> she didn't have quite enough room to walk through. She just doesn't care. <laughs> my my son's late dog, the other dog, the Rottweiler, we used to call her the tank because she didn't go around things. She went through them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go now. I just thought I'd share my goodies with you and I hope you enjoyed unwrapping them with me. And um, hopefully I'll make another video this week, although it'll be a bit more difficult with having the two dogs. But uh, they, they're very good and they get on well together. It's just I like spending time with them and with Poppy, you know. I don't get to see Poppy that often, so we like our cuddles, you know. <laughs> don't know what she's doing now. She's sniffing away. They're on a tarpaulin. Yeah. She probably smells something or other. I don't know. She's back again. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes. Wait for it, Poppy. <laughs> You're going to knock the tripod again, are you, darling? All right, well, just go back. Sorry about that. I tried to hold on to it, but she got there. Right, I did say it was going to be a short video, so there's my little zapper, which I've never had before, which means I can turn the video off without having to go eh, like I used to before. So thank you all for your company. And uh, I've had a few new subscribers, so thank you all very much if you're a new subscriber. And to my, I won't say older subscribers, that sounds awful. To my existing subscribers, thank you very much for your support. Very, very much appreciated. Um, 
you know, I do enjoy your company and I hope you enjoy mine. So with that, I will say goodbye from Jan, the Urban Gypsy Crochet. And I have put the tops on Etsy, by the way. I'm not doing a big shout out, but I have put them on. So that's another thing I can tick off my list. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> Finish the ironing. Tick. <laughs> Did the washing up. Tick. Haven't tidied the bedroom yet, so that's not a tick. Clean laundry is all up in the bedroom, but is it in the wardrobes? Is it in the cupboards? No. But I'll do that when it's a rainy day. Bye all.